The Sheck Report, with Dave Damashek reporting. Damashek here. Week eight's in the books, so let's get right to it. Just remember, players and coaches, don't get angry at me if I call your name. Ultimately, I didn't put you on this list. You put you on this list. Let it begin. At number five, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for spoiling an otherwise banner year for Pirates. Pittsburgh's Pirates made the playoffs for the first time in forever. Somali's Pirates are sharing the big screen with Tom Hanks. And Jake, of the Neverland Pirates, is one of this Halloween's most popular get-ups. So what's wrong with you, Shiano? Get with the program already. At number four, former Oregon Ducks offensive wizard Chip Kelly, who, forgive the pun, is starting to look like a quack. Where's the offensive revolution the Eagles were promised? Jeffrey Lurie's liable to sue for fraud. Better yet, where's Andy Reid? Oh, yeah. In hindsight, kind of unnecessary to remake this team, huh? It's football's answer to that Colin Farrell total recall crap. Hey. At number three, the San Francisco 49ers. Not just for restoring some shred of American honor overseas in the face of those awful Jags uniforms we attack British eyeballs with, but also for their two first quarter touchdowns. If my math is correct, those 14 points are more than the total number of soccer goals scored in Wembley ever, or in England soccer, ever, or in soccer, ever. Shame on soccer. At number two, the 2013 season of our football for already being half over. Now, that's good news for, say, the Atlanta Falcons or RG's knee or Matt Schaub's ego or the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know, you'd think the team from Pittsburgh would know the QB who's from Pittsburgh sometimes likes to run with the ball. No, Ryan Clark, the other guy, the one wearing the number two. Ah, uh, too late. Forget about it. Shame on all those guys. But everyone else, slow down. You're going too fast. And that brings me to number one and the brown paper bag of shame, which goes to Des Bryant's detractors. You know, we hear so much complaining about millionaire ball players who dog it. Well, here's a guy who's not only working hard, he's begging to work harder. So which is it, people? I know, I know. You want someone in between. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right. Sorry, Goldilocks is not walking through that door. And even if she did, I'm almost positive she'd be a worse receiver than Dez. See, NFL receivers want the ball because pro athletes are confident. Now, some are overconfident like Ocho Cinco. His mouth put up better numbers than his hands. But don't pay Dez with that brush. Dez was much closer last week when he compared his talents to Calvin Johnson's. And while he might not be exactly at that level, he ain't that far off. And that's pretty good considering Megatron is going to retire no worse than the second best wide receiver to ever play. And again, that's the worst case scenario. After the game, I heard some people suggest Dez behave more like Calvin. But that's not really fair. Calvin didn't have to complain. His QB was already throwing him the ball. What's your excuse, Cowboys? Dez was covered? There's no such thing. Look at that catch. He's uncoverable. Stafford gets it. There's no bad time to heave it in Calvin's general direction, and he'll do the rest. I'm not even necessarily blaming Romo for this. He's not the one calling the plays. That ball's on offensive coordinator Bill Callahan and his Princeton-educated head coach, Jason Garrett, who apparently was just outsmarted by this spirited preteen. Ah, oh, they're fun at that age. Listen, Tom Brady and Peyton Manning yell at their teammates, just like Michael Jordan yelled at his. Bill Parcells yelled at his players. We got to get his head out of his ass. Aaron Rodgers yells at his coach. If you don't like it, maybe you should just take this, the brown paper bag of shame, rip it in half, stick it in your two ears, and then you won't have to hear it anymore. Okay, till next time. Try not to embarrass yourselves. Dave and Dez do Dallas. Ooh, la, and la. Shame.